why can my openings never be good? Welcome back to Super Mario 64 with Twitchy Camera. There's nothing more to say, the camera's just acting out. Okay, anyway, last time we started with Dry World, and I learned that the star that I accidentally reached without attempting was the proper one, meaning all of the time spent getting the wrong star I could have probably gotten all the other ones before that. So... Sadness? Like, a lot of sadness. Ugh. I just had a... Uh, supper and I had a... Uh, barbecue ribs. Tastes pretty good, but ooh. Feel, I feel it now. Feel it now. Mr. Krabs. I also spent a long time editing because today I did. To, I edited the half hour pyramid episode of me struggling. Number one, reliving that moment was very saddening and I did not enjoy it. Number two, I had to render it twice. No, three times. The, the second time I, had to, I stopped halfway because I realized there was an edit I need to make. Anyway. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's it's this level. We need to go find the five spots, like uh, just like in the pyramid. We need to go find five different spots, and unlike the pyramid, they're not they're a lot harder and take a lot more time if you don't know what you're doing. If you do, this level's definitely easier. But if you don't, uh, yeah, no, it's kind of hard. No, off the top of my head, I remember like four. And you can do them in any particular order, so that's always good. <clears throat> now I'm probably going to keep clearing my throat throughout this episode just because food. <clears throat> Gotta love it. Mm. Yeah, you're supposed to use the little buddy bot fella to get up, but you can just uh, jump. Well, not to this one. This one, I think you need the ball. Unless there's a speedrun trick that I just don't know about. Which probably could be a case. Unlike the other episodes, uh, well, the last couple episodes where I've had random tangents, I don't really got anything to say today. I will say today's been a fairly a random day. This is the first episode I'm recording after the new school. So <clears throat> my school has the new schedule and they updated the other side of things. And now I'm going to have six hours worth of academic classes because before I was having four and a half because we had an hour and a half classes and we had three of them. And then if you do the math, you know, it's a whole thing. It wasn't fun by any means. I'll just put that out there. It was not fun by any means. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think I could make that jump, but I tried it and it worked. So <laughs> moving on. Yeah, uh, just saying. Uh, uploads will probably definitely be a lot later than they normally have been coming out just because I'm not gonna have to worry about a ton of other things that I wouldn't otherwise and it's gonna be really bothersome and then huh life you know that's just the best way to sum it up just life Mm, 
yeah, this level you also need the water down completely. Which is good or bad depending on who you ask. <clears throat> In my opinion, it's, it's good because the water having to swim everywhere is annoying. And messing up the, the jump is also annoying. So, you know, I have mentioned before, but when when playing this game, uh, I only 100% of it because of the Let's Play. I was probably going to, but like at a much later date because there's a lot of other games that I want to play. But when I did 100% it, I did have a few ex random experiences and whatnot. And I will say, uh, Wet Dry World is fairly enjoyable when I was um, doing my 100% run. And again, I, I have mentioned before, but not all games I do will be 100%. They'll only be 100% if you just really like that Let's Play and then Again, the only reason I'm doing Mario 64 is because the 70 stars takes nothing. You know, I, I can do that easily. I, I can't make this damn jump, apparently. I know you can just long jump onto there, but I might just go all the way around again. We had to reach on top to where the box was with the last um, area section number. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. I could really use some coins. Thank you. Now, let us get this star. Oh, uh, one thing I did learn while watching over all the videos is there's very faint now it's not that loud very faint tapping noises and then when watching over with the gameplay i realized that that's the a button <laughs> or no not the a button the b button and i just find that really funny <laughs> just like it's just really funny to me that I, you know, I did joke and I didn't think you actually were going to be able to hear the buttons. Because, you know, they are loud, but I didn't think they'd be that loud. So I just, I just find it really funny in retrospect. You know, as I'm recording this, um, I was, I didn't know if I was going to record today. It's Friday and I was like, eh, maybe I could relax, but I had nothing better to do. My friends did say they were going to go on discord vc and chat and then i look at discord and no one's there and i was like huh i guess they're not going to chat <laughs> mind you i just randomly hopped on discord and then i just saw all that and i was like um okay <laughs> and i was gonna join but you know for whatever sort of reason we're out there that's whatever we talk all the time anyway because, you know, we got nothing better to do in the pandemic and human interaction is one thing that we all still greatly value. And I'm, I mean, I'm not saying I'm a social butterfly, but like, human interaction is very valuable to me. And very helpful in many ways. Blue coins. Oh, they always scare me on this stage. I don't know why. They're pretty nearby and they're not that hard to get, but they always scare me and I don't know why. Come on.
Let us grab these coins. That wasn't meant to be a food joke, but it ended up being one. I think this is gonna be the food episode. The not so funny food episode that isn't really the food episode. <sighs> God damn it. I will say, as much fun as I have with this game. <clears throat> Again, playing like later Mario games and seeing how everything is much more uh, touched up and just some things work a lot better. Man, it really makes me question this game. It, it is a, you know, they do have the experience and then there's a big time change, especially in gaps of releases. But man, do I wish they, like, uh, I mean, <sighs> Odyssey level of like content and polish is just it, it, it is a lot i'll give them that but oh it's so good man do i love mario games <laughs> just a good franchise all around especially the mario items at animal crossing Ooh, ooh, do i love the new pipes the the teleporting pipes that can go all over the island ooh. and there's rng elements too ah, it's amazing I don't know if I've ever killed the purple guys, one of those guys yet. That might be our first encounter, I just don't realize, but... You know, I remember this level giving me a much harder time on the red coins, but I'm already at 88 and I still have a lot of coins that I can grab fairly easily. <clears throat> I also found all of those again. Yeah, and we still got the red coins, yeah, we're, we're good. I need five. Well, less than five now. Well, first off, we're gonna raise the current a bit, gain back some health. Now we gotta get to that damn cannon again. Now you don't really need to. You can grab all the coins. Except the blue coins and anything in like the boxes and whatnot. The um like with the water level still high, but like just 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 make it lower and just grab them all in one sitting. No point to waste extra time like that. Unless you're trying to waste time. Because in that case, by all means go for it. Now this one ledge has a ton of different ways to get up to and I always, some for some reason, I always have to do a different one like every single time I go to it. I have no clue why. <laughs> like I, if I could explain to you why I would, but I f literally can't. I just like doing so and there's nothing more really to it. <clears throat> if we grab, in my opinion, I think if I grabbed all of the random stray coins, I probably could have gotten a hundred, but I mean, I still have red coins to collect anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Wet Dry World really isn't as bad as I remember. Back in the 64 DS when I played it, uh, this level absolutely sucked for me. Like some of the stars weren't that bad, but like the finding the five areas and whatnot, like I struggled. hundred coins, I struggled. Anything that involved getting to this part of the map, I struggled. I just ended up struggling a lot, huh? Now, even though I had a hard time the second time around when playing this, I found it, you know, fairly easy in comparison. Especially 100 coins. Man, is this amazing to do. Especially after the hell that is... Daisy Maze Cave and the desert. Here we go. Okay, now I need to lower the water. And I remember where it is because of last time. There's also a button. 
I don't remember from last time. I don't really, well, I don't even know what that button did. Man, there's a lot of coins in this level. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you will not like, have a hard time doing this level at all, huh? 100 coins at least. That, you know, if you know where everything is and how to get it, it won't be battle. Let me rephrase that because this level is still difficult by all means. <laughs> Man, we're doing a very re relaxing food episode, you know? Let, let me go back to talking about food so I can actually clickbait this. But... Uh, well, not clickbait, but... <laughs> hate that. But uh, just make it a bit more... have a funny title. Stand out more. I've, I've already given my spiel about how I... my import, How important I view the titles of my videos. Even if they're not really that important in the grand scheme of things. Wow, man, I really messed that up. Okay. So I have a, <clears throat> obviously I'm recording right now, but I do have a TV and that TV does not have any cable. It is completely, uh, I don't know how you describe it. There's just no cable. It's only connected to my switch and whatnot. But one thing I will say is that even though it is just Switch and then Wii and Wii U, I, I, have, I used to have them all connected, now I have it so I switch it. Funny enough, but I, I do that just because saving electricity is very important. It doesn't take long at all because you can just switch the HDMI ports of the Switch and just plug in the power cable for either the Wii or Wii U. Not bad, not bad at all. There you go, made it up here. Ooh, nope, 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 okay. <clears throat> Maybe it should be the cough episode. Okay, uh, on this TV I get there's a few free channels, one of which is like a food channel, but like the only shows they they will show are ones that are like from Gordon Ramsay. Nothing wrong with it. It's just I don't understand the point of the channel and its branding because it's just Gordon Ramsay. Literally, I have yet to see a single time where they don't broadcast Gordon Ramsay. Mind you, I've only seen it uh, very few times, but every single time it's Gordon Ramsay. Um, I might also just be checking it at the s at like similar times and my brain just doesn't realize, so it doesn't like put two and two and together, but man, a lot of Gordon Ramsay. And two extra lives. Oh, great. We can, we can get a, another... Uh, I don't really want to do that level yet. Is there none in here? Okay, you know, I guess we're doing that one. Next level. Tiny Huge Island. It's Tall Tall Mountain. I... Man. I messed that up great. <laughs> like, greatly. Just saying you can skip, like, half the mountain with that. And it can save you so much time if you're speedrunning. So, uh... Make sure you know that. Most people probably won't even dare jump off and try that, but, like... It's there. Okay. This level is parkour in Speedrun City because there are tricks galore here. A ton of different jumps and time saves you can do here. Oh, so, very fun. Also, very easy to grab one ups, which is, you know, appreciated. We have to scale the mountain for this level. So that's why I'm climbing all the way to the top. Don't worry, I'm gonna- You're gonna get to see 
next episode at least you're gonna get to see uh in depth the actual different segments especially once i get to the 100 coins because i'm going to be scaling this thing like multiple okay multiple times getting all the coins <clears throat> sorry for clearing my throat so much i that food before this again with completing a sing uh, an entire world of course i guess and then getting starting a new one i think it's safe to say we can wrap up the episode so thank you all so much for watching Please remember to subscribe and share this video, and I hope you all have a lovely day.